What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be working on the all wheel drive hatch. The last time we took this car to the track, it was pulling hard to the left. We couldn't figure it out why. And uh, we had the transmission out. We were looking all around the car, couldn't figure it out. But today we have an appointment to go to the alignment shop. Uh, so hopefully they can give us some good news uh, as to why it's pulling. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and load it up, see if we can figure this out. You got the jack stands in the front. Right here, right? So we do start the car pretty often, but it's been a while since it's been down on all four. Always keep it on jack stands. Hopefully there's air in the tires. How are we looking, Johnny? This one's good. Good. All right, start this thing up, get it, get it out of here. Stuck? body's acting up I can't really give it gas or else it just gets stuck so I just had to reverse it without even pressing the gas pedal but it is idling kind of hot figure that out later we don't have much time to get to our appointment and push purple rain back in hook up the trailer we got a car in there we have to take out load this up and head over to the uh, alignment shop All right, we made it over here. We're gonna unload the car, get this thing aligned. All right, we got it on the alignment rack. The throttle body's being weird. Like if I touch the gas a little bit, it just wants to go all the way up so i was just trying to use uh the rpm like without having to use the gas pedal just to get it in here but uh that's an issue we have to fix i didn't see that till this morning so let's get this thing aligned and then we'll take it over to the shop we got the guys on it right now Tavares is going to look through the car they're putting air pressure back in the tires 
um, just letting him know what was going on at the track. And uh, hopefully this guy figures it out because if he can't, I mean, he's the man. So if he can't do it, I don't know who else can. He does 90% of the sport front wheel drives. He does a lot of all wheel drives. He does a lot of big dogs. He's got a lot of seven second, seven second passes under his belt for cars that he's aligned. I mean, you guys should probably know who he is, but hopefully we get this thing figured out because I want to take it back to the track and actually make a full good rip in it. But I got faith, man. They're saying this axle was tight yeah. and then that one's really loose. Oh, so this is... I mean, that size is more long than oh. that one. That one is tight. Oh, we got you. So this needs to be put out. That's why I brought it to you, man. You're the man. See what you can figure out on this thing. Because I, like I said to them, man, if you can't figure it out, I don't know what to do, bro. <laughs> the car's been sitting for a while. Uh, just because of that. I mean, the motor sounds good. The tune sounds great. But... Let me just keep looking to see what I can find. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. With the squat. You need to make this one. All right, so I showed him a video of the car when it launched, mm -hmm. and uh, he was saying that this it, is this was too tight, so he's gonna loosen this up. Mm -hmm. That's 18k. Okay. He don't make the squat in in the video. Okay. Every car, if you start in zero, every car need to make a squat. Got you. That's how the car trumps for the weight. Okay. If you don't trump for the weight, you just make a bouncing at the tire to the floor. That's okay. Yeah. Because he's saying squat. it was spinning a lot when I launched mm -hmm. it too. Well, we're gonna go grab some food real quick while he's doing the alignment. I'm gonna have to come back here in a little bit so he can corner balance it. So I might have to sit in the car. Uh, but they said there was a couple food trucks over here and some random spots. So let's see what we can find. I'm hungry. Oh, I think we got the jackpot here. Uh, let's see if they're open though. Looks like a couple of them are. Oh, they got some Venezuelan empanadas. I'm gonna do this one. All right, so I might've ordered a little bit too much, but while we wait, I'm gonna be drinking on this Malta. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. I think it's great. And what'd you get, Johnny? Uh, what is those, uh, tequeños? Tequeños, yeah. rip one open, man. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, dang, mm -hmm. brother, with the sauce on it. Mm. All right, here we are. We got shredded chicken, arepa, we got the beef. We got three empanadas. This is the papayon. He's got a uh, chicken over there. Ooh, we got a guanabana. And he's got a passion fruit. All right, we definitely ordered way too much food. I only got through one arepa. It was so good. So we're gonna save this for a little bit later. We'll see if the guys at the shop are, are hungry, we'll give it to them. Very just close. Everything is tight. You need to go more aggressive at the numbers. Oh, gotcha. All right, so what he was saying is that where we got the alignment done, all the numbers were, were getting there. They, they were on the right track, but uh, he just tightened it more. He could see why it would, would be pulling left. So he adjusted it how he would set it up. He said it should be good now. We didn't put the traction bars on it. I forgot them at the house. I forgot that we didn't even put them on there. But he told me how to put them on and adjust those. So we should be good to go. I mean, he said it was... He's confident that it was enough off that it was pulling to the left. So I'm feeling good about it. He just finished it up. So we're ready to go. We just got to take it back to the track and see if she'll go straight. Hopefully she goes straight this time, man. It's going to be a fun ride. So also with the suspension, he said everything was real tight. So now he loosened up the rear. That way it gives it a little squat. And then the front, he loosened it up. He, he said it should just, it should go straight, but we're going to, um, probably set up a time where he can come out there with us when I'm running it at the track. And since he knows all the numbers and everything, he said he can bring the tools. And if it does need any adjustment, I don't know why that came out like that. If it does need any adjustment, um, he will be there to adjust it. So that's really good news. Um, yeah, man, let's just get this thing back on the trailer and uh, head back to town. <laughs>
got it. <laughs> I ate a little too much for lunch. <laughs> Whew. Hey, she's ready for the track, boys. It's a hot one today, boys. You gotta stay hydrated and new, new, how do you call it? Neutralized? Anything yes. else? <laughs> yes, that's what it's neutralized. <laughs> so I brought the hatch over to the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, the throttle body apart and try to figure out what's going on with that. We have one week to get this car ready. I mean, basically it is ready besides the throttle body issue. Um, next week, Friday, we got a private test day for the hatch. So we're gonna be in the driver's seat, going down the track once again in this beast. Um, I'm super excited to get back in it and actually try to figure it out. We got our tuner going out there. Um, I think Tavara said he's down to go out there to watch how it launches and if he has to make any adjustments he'll he'll uh, dial the car in so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a good day for the hatch i uh, hope you guys are excited for this i just wanted to make a video on this uh getting it ready because i didn't know if you guys forgot about the hatch uh but yeah we are working on it and it's super close to being ready for the track just needs miscellaneous things i think i'm just going to change the oil do the spark plugs figure out that throttle body and besides that uh, she's ready. There's also a chance that we take Honduru out next week Thursday So potentially we're gonna go to the track on Thursday and run Honduru and then Friday will be in the hatch So a lot of racing to come. I'm excited to get that helmet back on and uh, get in the driver's seat I love racing. I don't know. It's just something about it. I feel like it's in my blood Just there's no other feeling that compares to it. So I hope you guys are excited I'm trying to keep up with this content and like I said before we got a lot going on this month So go ahead and strap in those couches and uh, I'll see you guys here soon